Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Previously, oh, we finished up the, um, the settings slash other menu here. We finished up this down here. There was a lot to go through. And then we showed over, over here. We went through this, this part of it. Today, what I'm going to be doing is going through the rest of the options here in both of these lists. These horizontally scrolling lists. Now before we get started, I'm gonna have to point out how these lists are a lot like the DSi menu. The horizontally scrolling DSi menu, which I found was interesting and actually, uh, I mean it's two rows rather than one. But now that I mention that, I remember actually going I think I, I remember browsing 3DS eShop a lot. I'm going off, all, off my notes to make sure I don't sit, forget to say this, but I remember going browsing the DSi or the 3DS eShop way, I think even way more than the DSi shop. I, I just remember going through, I found a video on YouTube recently showing the different background music tracks that the 3DS eShop would have, and that explains why this music playing right now is not what I remember for a long time ago on the 3DS eShop. Which makes sense now that I know that. Anyway, let's get started. The first option is Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, which was a, a port of Kirby's Epic Yarn from the Wii to the 3DS. Kirby's, this area up here looks different to what I remember in other game pages. Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, trademark. $40, Nintendo 3DS retail slash download, release date, March 8th, 2019. So almost, today's March 6th, 2023, so almost, uh, almost four years ago. I don't like that feeling. So this is everyone, Ray E for everyone. One ticked off sorcerer, oh there's a demo. One ticked off sorcerer just banished Kirby, warping the poor fuffball to a yarn world native saving. The twist, having yarn body is epic. Kirby can transform into knitted wonders like tanks and flying saucers. Plus his new ravel abilities mimic his classic copy abilities, adding something new to each stage of this action adventure game. Ravel abilities allow Kirby to drop buttons like bombs or wield a wire like a sword, and that's just the beginning of all the makeshift magic. Dead end? Unzip a secret passage. Too dark? Unbutton the night to shed some light. Boss blocking your way? Unravel its face. As you play, you'll collect decorative treasures for Kirby's pad. Kirby's house, I assume. Like Mario's pad in Super Mario RPG. Uh, show yours off with the Street Pass TM feature. If story mode isn't tough enough, see if you can earn more collectibles in devilish mode. In this harder mode, you must survive without invincibility as devils obstruct your path through each stage. There are also all new mini games starring Meta Knight and King DDD. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember the ads for this. It's the like DDD's drum dash. I don't remember. Oh, I I don't remember what it is for Meta Knight, but yeah. Alright, here's the screenshot. The bottom of the screen just has Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn as, a, as the title on the bottom of the screen, I mean. I wouldn't surprise me if Nintendo was maybe like running out of ideas for bottom screen 3DS games, but the top has how many? I don't know if they're called gems or what, and Kirby's doing something. Fishing for like some sort of a bird, I don't remember what kind of bird that is. I have no idea. And then there's some other stuff at the top. And then the next one, Kirby's trying to... There's a dragon. Kirby's trying to pull something out of the dragon's mouth, I guess. I, I have no idea. And then the third one... Oh, this is a lot easier. Kirby's just swimming underwater. There appears to be layers, so there's like objects hooked to things in the background going into the foreground where Kirby is. So there's like a ring that can be, you can swim through. Oh yeah, and then the thing at the top, I, the there's a row at the top that shows you how many beads, I think they're called beads, that you have. Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. Publisher Nintendo, Players, One Player, action, genre, genre Action Adventure. Languages, English, Spanish, and French. Important information. Oh yeah, it's in 2D. It's not a 3D game. 
Oh, at the time of purchase, you can choose either download now to begin to download the game immediately or no space, quote, download later, quote. So either they forgot a space between the or and the double quote or it's supposed to be a line break or something. I don't know. And then uh, to download the game when the system enters sleep mode and then period, quote, and then you may need to, hmm, this description appears to have quite a few issues with spacing. That's interesting. Hmm. And there's Amiibos. Compatible features slash accessories. Amiibos support Street Pass, which is actually very impressive that, like, Nintendo remembered Street Pass all this time. Rating information, everyone. Um, what type of person is it suited for? Every, everyone, 82%. What type of game is it? Casual play, 82%. Relay genres, action adventure, relay keywords, Kirby and Nintendo, copyright 2019, Nintendo developed by Goodfeel, copyright 2019, HAL Laboratory Inc., slash Nintendo, Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, and Nintendo 3DS are trademarks of Nintendo. Alright, uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey, that's right. I just remembered it all off the top of my head without actually needing to read it here. Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey. This one is 2D. It's, it's a 2D game, not 3D, which is kind of disappointing, but it was toward the end of 3DS's lifespan, January 11th, 2019. Sadly, this is the last game that Alpha Dream developed before they went bankrupt. I'm still really sad about that. I really hope that that there will be a new Mario and Luigi game developed in the style of these. Like I want it to be like these and not like the newer Paper Mario games. Like I don't want it to take that direction. I want it to say like this. But of course, new and different things. But I don't want it to be like like Sticker Star. I don't want it to be ruined like that, you know. $40 Nintendo 3DS retail slash download release date. Yeah, January 11, 2019. Ready for everyone. Laugh your way through a hilarious story told from three perspectives. Search the Mushroom Kingdom for Akira's Bowser. Explore his innards as the Mario Bros. And discover the untold story of Bowser Jr.'s journey. Oh, that makes sense. I was wondering how they had three perspectives. I was like, well, you can play as Bowser, and you can play as Mario and Luigi. How does that work? And then, yeah, that. Overcome the fury of Fawful, action-packed battles, puzzling tasks, and giant bosses in a classic action RPG. Stuff with new content. Mario and Luigi are stuck inside Bowser, forced to accomplish unusual tasks to assist their arch nemesis with hero stuff across the land. The scenes and dialogue that ensue will have you cackling like Fawful, even in battle. Time your button presses and keep up with the action. Turn the system sideways, blown to the mic. I'm pretty sure that they do have like a button or some way to not have to actually physically blow into the microphone now. Or tap the touch screen. In an all new mode, Bowser Jr. will cross paths with our, un our unlikely allies as he recruits ranged flying and melee troopers to fight for his cause. Strategically form teams and pit them against enemies to reign supreme in fren frenetic combat. I actually have it right here. I actually have the DS version right there. I do much prefer the, the Superstar Saga Game Boy Advance and Partners in Time sprites to the newer ones. I, I prefer the colors like on Luigi and in general I just prefer that art style over the newer 3DS art style. Just a personal thing. So I hope that they will try to go back to that because it just looks better. I mean, this is also alright, it's just the other one's more styled, more of an art style, I guess. But it, it does rather impress me how they were like, oh yeah, we're, these are just sprites, but they look like 3D models, so oh, that's pretty neat. I mean, that's kind of what they did for Donkey Kong Country, but still, it's kind of similar. And here's a screenshot of Bowser Jr.'s journey. There's my left. Oh, maybe that's not the case in um, 
I don't know, the bottom screen just has the game's logo. Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey. So maybe the bottom screen is just like, oh, we're just going to put this here for the screenshots. And then there's like a tactical battle and you're just watching it play out as some of Bowser's minions that you've recruited as Bowser Jr. fight. I, I don't know enough about this mode. You fight opponent ones. And then there's another screenshot of Bowser Jr.'s journey. And then, I don't know when this happens, there's another screenshot of just Bowser Jr.'s journey again. No actual Mario and Luigi screenshots, which does surprise me. Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s journey. I figured that they would have done that, and then Bowser, and then Mario and Luigi. I mean, that just kind of makes sense, aside from the one here. Publisher Nintendo Players 1 Player, Genre RPG Action Adventure, Languages English, Spanish, French. It's, in, it's also in 2D. And there's issues with spaces here. It supports amiibos. Compatible features and accessories, amiibos, rating information, rating 1839 ratings, mostly for everyone, 71%, casual play 70%, related genres, at RPG, action, adventure, related keywords, Mario, Luigi, Bowser, and Nintendo, copyright 2009 through 2019, Nintendo, developed by Alpha Dream, I really miss them. Mario and Luigi and Nintendo 3DS are trademarks of Nintendo. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. Oh, this is Luigi's Mansion 3DS. I remember when this came out. Because, or when this was revealed. And I was like, oh, it's so cool. That there's going to be an actual Luigi's Mansion. A version of the original Luigi's Mansion. With 3D visuals as intended originally, but it was, I think, too expensive or something to do a 3D display on the GameCube. So, yeah, they, they couldn't. But now on the 3DS, they can. So that's very cool. Luigi's Mansion, trademark. $40. Nintendo 3DS retail slash download. Release date, October 11th, 2018. Ready for everyone. G ghosts Time to suck those suckers up because Luigi's back in the first portable version of this spooky classic. After winning a mansion in a contest he didn't enter, he must beat its many bosses and puzzles. Follow a map on the touch screen, shine a flashlight, blow fire, shoot water, stun ghosts, and trap them before Mario is trapped forever. All this ghost catching tomfoolery pays off as you suck him up with your Poltergust 3000. You could also rake in millions in hidden in-game riches for a hard luck hero. Make sure to search every area using the Game Boy Horrors map on your touch screen and activate its Boo Radar to track down every Boo in the mansion or spot ghost's weak points. After beating and capturing boss ghosts, you can select their portraits from the gallery to best your own score in intense rematches. A new feature in the Nintendo 3DS version. And here's some screenshots. So here's, uh, oh, there's actually two player too. So there's Luigi and uh, Gooigi. This is Gooigi's appear first appearance before Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi has 100 hearts and Gooigi has 50. That's how the multiplayer worked. Oh, uh, and the blue radar has a light. Well, it's the Game Boy Horror has a light for the blue radar toward the bottom left, like just on the top screen, but in the top left from the bottom screen, but on the top screen. Yeah, it's blue. Dining room. Oh, an 8-bit Luigi there next to the dining room. And there's a nice map on the bottom screen, actually, so you don't have to pause or you use the, you don't have to use the different buttons on the controller, like the Z button, X or Y or whatever it is to get the map, I don't remember. And then it shows you where Luigi is and where Gooigi is. We've got 35 boos up here, already gotten. And then there's a tab for the mansion, ghosts, 
money, floors, zoom on where uh, this is versus oops, versus Chauncey, mansion mode, high score. I I don't know. I. I I don't really know enough about the remake, so I don't know what's going on there, but... Oh, okay, so it, it tracks how long you took and also how much health. I clear, um, obviously this player took 2 minutes, 21 seconds, 93 tenths of a second, and got down to 84 health. And then the third one, they're in the pipe room. Luigi is grab, uh, sucking up some grabby ghosts. And there's a map on the bottom screen, you know, 41 out of 50 boos on there. We just got ice, too. And he's at 57 health. Luigi's Mansion, publisher Nintendo, players 1 to 2 players. Genre action adventure, languages English, Spanish, French. Using parental controls to restrict 3D mode. And there's spacing issues here. Um... Apparently you can use amiibos, I don't know exactly why. Compatible features and accessories, amiibos supports local play and supports download play. Very cool. Rating information, E rating and all that. What type of person is it suited for? Rate everyone 68%. What type of game is it? 64%. Casual play. Related genres, action adventure. Um, related keywords, Nintendo. Copyright 2018 Nintendo, Luigi's Mansion, Nintendo 3DS, or trademarks in Nintendo. If you want to see a series on the original Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube that I did in uh, late 2016, I actually did one of those. So you can check that out on, out on my channel if you want. I didn't do one of these, one of this one, so it won't even mention this one existing. But hey, if you want to if you want to see it, I, I made one. And here's a wider card for Detective Pikachu. And it shows that there's a demo available. On the thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is a category. That's right. So we've got info. And it just has the same Detective Pikachu banner. And we've got... Going to the right, we've got Detective Pikachu. And Detective Pikachu special demo. Why is this a special demo? I'm just trying to find why this is a special demo. Wait, when was this released? April 5th, 2018. Oh wow, that was very recent. Free demo. Here's some screenshots. around in, I assume, the overworld. Um, oh, this one's 2D. 3D. Everyone's 69%. Casual play, 70%. I don't know why this is a special demo. Maybe it's because, um... Oh, okay. March 23rd, 2018. Um, it actually released. So it was an... So it was an early thing. Oh, and for limited time, players who purchased the Detective Pikachu game will receive bonus, a bonus download code for a Detective Pikachu theme for the home menu on the Nintendo 3DS family of systems, including the 2DS and new 2DS XL. Offer ends April 22nd, 2018. And there's different screenshots here too, that's interesting. There you go. Um, I'm not gonna read all this. This is also in 2D. Just like the demo. Oh, you can go to the official site there. Nope. 79% everyone, 80% casual play, 
Adventure Pokemon Pikachu 2D Amiibo. Mm, copyrights. I don't... Oh, yeah. March. March 23rd. Oh, April 5th. So they re decided to apparently release a demo afterward. Huh, okay. I don't know exactly why it's a special demo, but maybe... Maybe they were like, oh, we, we want to make sure that players can play however many times they want. So this is the Nintendo Selects section. Get some of the very best Nintendo 3DS games with the new Nintendo Selects titles. These titles, owned and loved by millions, can be yours for an incredible value price. Usually $20. Here's Mario Maker 3DS. Majora's Mask 3D. $20. Star Fox 64 3D, uh, Super Mario 3D Land, these are all $20. I have the physical version of this, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, Ultimate NES Remix, I heard that it's basically the same as NES Remix 1 and 2 on the Wii U, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Welcome Amiibo, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, Luigi's Mansion 2 in Europe I think. Ocarina of Time 3D, uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, Tomodachi Life. I remember wanting to get this because it was like, the ads were just so bizarre. It seemed really fun, but it, eventually I, I just kind of, eh. Nintendogs Plus Cats Golden Retriever. Is that just Golden Retriever? Yeah, Golden Retriever. And there's a demo for that, too. It'd be nice if they just had, like, Nintendo Cats or something like that. Like, I don't- I personally don't care about dogs. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Mario Party Island Tour. And Yoshi's New Island. I heard that this is horrible. This is, like, really disappointing for a Yoshi's Island game. Notice what game is not in Nintendo Selects and is still, as implied by this, full price. I'll get to it. But you probably already know. And then next is WarioWare Gold. And here we've got, oh, banner. Same banner as the one on the homepage. Got WarioWare Gold for $40 and special demo. Captain Code, ta, cap, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. There's a demo available. There's a, there are nice banners up there. Okay, watch three. I thought that was two, but three. Discover more games with gold. I don't remember what that's called. Gold Raccoon Mario, I think. My hand's really itchy, so I'm scratching it. I should probably put lotion on it. It's a bit dry, red from scratching it. Games you'll love. Is your new system hungry for new for more games? Fill it up with these great games. Super Mario 3D Land, Mario Kart 7, that one's $30. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo, Smash 3DS, Luigi's Mansion. It's weird that that's $40 still. Mario Maker 3DS, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Kirby Triple Deluxe, Alpha Saf um, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, Mario Party Top 100. I remember when this came out or was announced. Pe was announced. People were like, "Oh, that's so cool," because like a lot of games, but mini games. But there was something like they they didn't include some of them or something like that. I don't know. New Super Mario Bros. 2 for thirty dollars. Pokemon X and Y. Majora's Mask 3D, Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, and then Conquest. Oh, Map Pack 2, DLC available. Oh, I see. Tomodachi Life, Lego Jurassic World, Mario Party Island Tour, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. 9 out of 10 IGN. And then here's a Mario category. And we've got. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Dunes Journey, we just looked at that. Mario Party Top 100, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, 
Um. Plus Bowser's minions. So we've got that there. The accolades and launch trailer. $40, Nintendo 3DS retail slash download, release date October 6, 2017. I remember when this came out, like I was thinking about it in like class, in math class, college, while I was um, around when it came out. Ready? There's so many surprises, thrills, and laughs in store for Mario and Luigi that it isn't even funny, except it is. Every hoo hoo, hee hee, and ha ha in this classic RPG adventure has been remade for Nintendo 3DS trademark systems. Plus, an all new squad based strategy tie in sees Bowser's minions on a quest to stop Fawful. Have you readiness for this? Sure you d Sure you do. So guide the bros on a journey through the Bean Bean Kingdom to recover the stolen voice of Princess Peach. Every stop on your path and every stomp on a Goomba has been completely recreated with enhanced graphics, lighting, and new gameplay options. Take down enemies using special bros attacks and solve puzzles with bros actions. Do you have furies, especially due to Fawful? Then go behind the scenes of this superstar saga by captaining an army of Bowser's minions. With 50 plus minions to recruit, strategy is on your side. And here is a battle going on. The bottom screen shows Mario and Luigi's stats uh, and a button for a guide and a button for assistance. I don't know what assistance does. It's a boss fight. Uh, there's no there's no on-screen stuff telling you what to do though which is kind of weird. And then here's a cutscene or a screenshot of a cutscene from the opening of the game very early on in the game with a button on the bottom screen telling you push the R button to advance which is very nice you can advance the the game the cutscene and then there's um, Bowser's Minions screenshot oh it, this one's nice that it actually shows stuff on the bottom screen so deny chance and sneak attack they cost coins I don't know how you get coins though for that Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions, Publisher Nintendo, Players One Player, Action RPG Strategy. Interestingly, the Game Boy Advance version actually had multiplayer if you plugged it into a Game Boy Player. GameCube. Game Boy Player. So one player could control. I don't know. I don't remember how it worked, but like you could play multiplayer in battles and stuff, which was neat. Languages English and Spanish. Important information. Oh, this is a 2D game. Amiibo apparently supports Amiibos. And then spacing issues, but these paragraphs are nicely separated. Amiibos, rating information. Re whoops. Uh, what type of person is it suited for? Everyone, 67%. What type of game is it? 67%. Casual play. I, I guess I should have said that. Interesting that it's the same rating, it's the same on what type of person is this suit for and what type of game is it. Relay genres, action RPG and strategy, relay keywords, Mario, Luigi, Superstars, and Bowser, Nintendo, and Amiibo. I wonder if they were trying to do Superstar Saga or something, I don't know. Capri 03 through 2017, Nintendo developed by Alpha Dream, Nintendo properties are trademarks at Nintendo. Mario Sports Superstars. Mario Maker 3DS, Mario Party Star Rush, Party Guest. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, Mario and Friends. This was November 4th, 2016. Mario and Friends invite you to be their party guest. Think fast and have a blast in this free version of the Mario Party Star Rush game. Connect with a player that has the full version to enjoy all multiplayer modes with up to four players. No matter how you party, it's instant fun for everyone. Um, yeah, in this one you choose, like you can just move all at the same time. Asynchronous movement. Um, and here's screenshots and you can choose your path. Everyone chooses their own path. There's a minigame. 
and a boss minigame, I assume. English for Nintendo, one to four players, party multiplayer board game, English, Spanish, French. Additional games and systems required for multiplayer mode sold separately. It supports Nintendo Network ID and the Amiibo. Amiibos. Displays 3D visuals, supports local play, supports spot pass. I don't know what it would support spot pass for. But it also supports the Circle Pad Pro. Which is I haven't seen that. I don't remember seeing that on mentioned on the 3DS U shop before. But basically if you don't know what that is, it's an accessory that uses the RF the IR thing in the back of the 3DS around here and it mounts onto the 3DS and then it's like gives you a, a circle pad for like a right analog stick there. Website. So I assume otherwise you would use the bottom screen for it. And it also gives you analog camera control and at least Majora's Mask 3D and I think also Ocarina of Time 3D. I don't know. For sure. Websites. Website. E. Ratings. What type of person is it suited for? Everyone, 70%. What type of game is it? Casual play, 68%. Party, multiplayer, board game, related genres. Related keywords, 3D, local play, spot pass, amiibo, Nintendo. Copyrights. And we've got the main, Star Rush game. Mini Mario and Friends, amiibo challenge. This is free, I think. But you needed the, uh, you needed amiibos. To actually play it to actually play this game and there's like some screenshots there of the game um, April released on April 20th 2016 Ray E 3ds download only release date make minis march like never before in this free download tap an amiibo figure to guide one of 11 minis across more than 50 levels Use minis and their unique abilities like Yoshi, who can eat enemies, or Rosalina, who launches to high places to reach the exit. But watch out! Minecarts, ghostly boos, and other new obstacles lurk around every corner. To get started, simply tap any compatible amiibo figure. Or by tapping specific amiibo figures, you can guide minis that have their own unique abilities and exclusive sets of levels. These specially designed Character themed levels include their own look, remix, music, and obstacles for you to master, which comes in handy the more you play. Earn in game amiibo tokens with different minis to unlock even more difficult challenges. Ever more. Even more difficult challenges. And here's actually it's a world map. It shows that your current amiibo is Mini Mario, how many amiibos that you have, and percentage of map completion. And each one, each of the unique ones, I guess, specific ones, has their own islands, it looks like. Bottom screen has level one, the player, whoever this is, has a record of 14,700. There's a video button, a help button, an amiibo button. And then this one is, I, I think this is a Luigi one, because there's a mini Luigi there. And top screen has an overview map there, timer, no idea what the one thing in the middle there is, collectible of some sort, and a score, and of course it's kind of like a Luigi's Mansion themed level, which is very cool. And then there's a Yoshi themed one, um, much wider level on the top, bridges, oh yeah, you would... You can set up bridges and stuff, so that's neat. Um, Polish for Nintendo plays one player puzzle, English, Spanish, French. Yeah. Support Spot Pass. I have no idea what this game would support Spot Pass for. Nintendo Network ID, RAE, um, what type of person is suited for? 74%. Everyone, what type of game is it? Casual play 77%. Puzzle, Nintendo, Mario, Amiibo, Spot Pass. Super Mario Kart, and next in the list is Super Mario Kart for $8, only on new 3DS. 
Yeah, it says that on the top. Eight dollars. Super Mario World, only for new 3DS. Huh. Interesting, there isn't... The new 3DS logo is just kind of flat there. Super Mario World, it kind of has a... a thing that separates it. Mario Luigi Paper Jam, Dr. Mario Miracle Cure, Puzzle and Dragon Z plus Super Mario Bros. I don't know what that... Plus Super Mario Bros. Edition. Okay. Wait. Is this the demo? Yep. It's a demo. Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tipping Stars. This game. Uh, special offer. Buy one version and get the other version free. Learn more somewhere. So this one, this game, basically. So on the 3DS or Wii U, you would buy one of them and get the other one for free. How does the special offer work? I assume it just registers on your... Get a free download code for the Wii U digi digital version of it with the purchase of the 3DS version. You know what I wish I could do? So here's this. Some levels. You know what I wish I could do is I wish I could, like... I mean, with this I could show redeeming a download code on the 3DS or the Wii U, but the problem is that I don't have some way to do a download code. I don't have some way to do the do a download code from the other one. If you purchase this game through Nintendo eShop or redeeming a download code purchased at retail, Check your 3DS eShop receipt for a free download code for the Wii U version. Wii U console required to perform redeem download code and play a free digital version of the game. Some user-generated levels may behave differently across hardware. If you are having difficulty completing a particular level, please confirm which device it was designed on, displayed on the creator's profile to ensure you are having the appropriate Gameplay experience. Sports Online play Street Pass and Spot Pass. Uh, yeah, so basically after you do a level, you can say, Hey, here's how many stars I'm going to get give this level, and someone else would get that. Everyone, 78%. What type of game is it? Casual play, 76%. Related genres, puzzle. Related keywords, Street Pass, Spot Pass, Nintendo, Mario, Donkey Kong, Create. I'm, I'm going to put it in there. I'm, I might think about it. Because then I can at least show something. I can at least show something. Game & Watch Gallery 3. Oh, Game Boy Color. This is Virtual Console. That's right. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Smash 3DS. DLC available. Now how... How does it display th the... Oh yeah. You won't be able to get download content uh, on there anymore. I think... Um... Oh, there's a theme shop. Theme. I think... And here's some screenshots. I think the DLC on this one is... Yeah, I, I would turn off the outlines personally because it just looks way better on the 3DS. Oh yeah, I, I already talked about the special demo. There we go. And then there's the character select screen. I like how it showed you your battery percentage and stuff. Um, I think the DLC you have to get from in the game. I'll be showing that though. Sports Online Play, 3D Visuals, uh, Local Play, Street Pass, and Spot Pass. Support site, finding your issued code. Um, VD10. 58% for everyone, 64% for intense play. Multiplayer fighting, Nintendo online play, local play, Street Pass, 3DS, 3D games, demo, DLC, Amiibo. That's a lot. Oh yeah, photos with Mario, there's that. I'll be right back. Very important to drink water regularly.
and also use the bathroom. I feel bad for anyone that lives somewhere that they don't have fresh water because it's critical, it's crucial for life. Not that there's anything that I can do personally, I'm sorry. But you know what, if, if it were possible to just be like, here you go, here's fresh water, it's free. Or it's cleaning up places that have been ruined by corporations being like, oh, we want money, we don't care about the environment. Or actual human lives, human lives or any animals or anything. We just want money and profit. It's awful. Very unethical. Mario Golf World Tour, Super Mario Bros. 3. Play one of the greatest Super Mario Bros. games of all time. Yoshi's New Island, immediate, immediately followed by Yoshi's New Island. That's hilarious. Uh, Mario Bros. for NES. I mean, I only, I'm only specifying that because there are many versions of Mario Bros. Mario Tennis. Mario Party Island Tour. How many? Oh, page two out of two. All right. And then we've got Mario and Luigi Dream Team, Super Mario Bros. 2, Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on... Minis on the Move? Minis on the Move, yep. That's what it's called. And this is a 3DS game. $10. Um... It's a spin-off. Oh! Wait. Puzzles. You know like those computer games with like pipes with the water going through it? Seems like that's similar, but like you have to do paths. Sorry, I'm not gonna be reading all these out there, it's just so many things. Oh and like and then the rich people are like, oh, I I wanna keep my money. I'm not gonna help anyone. I gotta keep my money. You know, there's that. Oh, and you move stuff around and, and you just, you can see it on the top screen where everything is. And the bottom screen has a map that you can manipulate and have things rotate and stuff like that. Oh, and there's a really, wow, that's a very large map. This must be pretty late in the game for this one. For the third one. Um, displays 3D visuals and the general network ID rate. 76% for everyone, 67% casual play. Action puzzle strategy. Uh, Nintendo Mario Donkey Kong 3D games, Nintendo 3DS eShop exclusive. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see what else is there. New 3DS download only. Yeah, new 3DS download only. One star. Um, back. Wrecking Crew for NES. Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. Or, as it's called in Japan, Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh, we're coming right up on an interesting game. In the US, what we call Super Mario Bros. 2 is in Japan called Super Mario USA. Mario Tennis Open, Paper Mario Sticker Star, $40. You know when the release date was? November 11th, 2012. Still $40. Put that sink in. Okay, now let's let's go away from this horrible disaster. Super Mario 3D Land. Oh yeah, we saw that before. Mario Kart 7, we saw that before. New Super Mario Bros. 2. A Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. NES Open Tournament Golf, Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch, Mario Cement Factory. Mario Clock. I have this on my DSi. XL. 
Mario Calculator, I also have that in my DSi XL. I don't know if I showed it or not. Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Minis March again. This one's pretty good. It's DSi work. But it's, it's like, it's pretty good. I also have this one. Yeah, Nintendo DSi work. Very fun. Probably showed this. Here's larger screenshots, so. And this is... Oh, yeah, you can create levels in this one, which is really cool. And then you can send them to other players. Other players locally. Dr. Mario Express. Mario Golf. Mario's Picross. Oh, that's for Game Boy. So it's right there. Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins. Dr. Mario for Game Boy. And Super Mario Land. I actually have this as a cartridge because I played it quite a lit I played it quite a bit on um, the Game Boy Advance that I also played Donkey Kong Country 2 on and I actually went to a game store and actually bought um, a copy of it so um, yeah I actually showed that in a video that particular copy I showed Super Mario Land glitches. Pokemon. You know, this is just a bunch of Pokemon games. You kind of get the idea. Pokemon for Cross. Hm, I didn't expect that. And Super Mystery Dungeon, 3DS retail download. Um, bunch of, why is this a special demo version? Is this a special demo version for, yeah, it's a special demo version for, um, both of them. Yeah, so I guess they decided to do a special demo version. Yeah, same one that was already given out by the demo code. So I guess that is the demo version for both Omega Ruby, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which is a good idea so you don't have to do extra builds and stuff just for um, a demo. Zelda series. There's quite a few things here. I'm gonna try to go faster. Oh, page one only. Uh, Link to the Past, Hero Warriors Legends, Triforce Heroes, Triforce Heroes Demo. Huh. The actual final game has more, uh, has four and a half stars. The demo has only four stars. Mordor's Mask 3D, Link Between Worlds, Oracle of Ages, Seasons, Adventure of Link, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, Zelda 1, Link's Awakening, DX, Game Boy Color, uh, Kirby! Yay! Page 1 of 1, Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, we just showed that, Kirby Battle Royale, $40, Battle Royale Demo, interesting that it's a different icon for the game, it's Kirby facing the right on the final one, but the demo has Kirby facing the, the, the player, even though the banner has the same, the banner is the same, but like demo available versus available now on the final one, weird. Kirby's Blowout Blast, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe offers in-game purchases, Kirby's Dream Course for only on new 3DS, well that's a DS. Super Nintendo, Kirby Planet Robot, Smash 3DS, Kirby Fighters Deluxe, DDD's Drum Dash Deluxe, oh yeah, that was, um, Kirby Triple Deluxe, no, that was in Kirby Triple Deluxe, and then you can buy these and get more levels, I don't remember what was in the other one, I don't even remember what, oh yeah, extra epic yard, uh, Kirby's Dreamland 2, Star Stacker, Pinball Land, 
Block Ball, 3D Classics, Kirby's Adventure, 3D Oh, eShop Exclusive. I'm gonna show this in a second. Kirby's Dreamland. This one is a set of a few game games in the 3D Classics series. And they're um well, November 17th, 2011, Nintendo 3DS download only, ready for everyone. 3D Classics Kirby's Adventure offers you a chance to explore the world of Dreamland in a whole new way. So basically, this version of the game, this screenshot, this version of the game has 3D graphics and it has, I can't show you, the screen because my camera is not 3D, but it it like has 3D stuff. Like the backgrounds goes like that, like you would expect from a 3DS game. It's different layers and stuff. Just a moment. I can't really tell if it actually works on here. I know that there was one version that was actually like really good, but I don't remember which one that one is. Uh, genre, action adventure, English, three visuals, ready. Everyone 70%, and what type of game is it? Casual play 71%, action adventure platformer, Nintendo 3D games, NES, HAL Laboratory, Nintendo 3DS eShop exclusive, and then, yeah, Kirby Stream. Let's keep going. Yoshi. Mario Party Top 100, Superstar, Mario Sports Superstars, Virgin Yoshi's Roller World, Super Mario World, Smash RES, Yoshi's New Island, and Yoshi for NES. Sonic games, I'm just gonna go through here really quickly. Page 101, Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice, I remember, I remember that this is actually like the better Sonic Boom game compared to the one on the Wii U, the disaster. Sonic 2. Oh, the other Sonic Boom game? Oh yeah, this one was, from what I heard, actually not that bad. Shared Crystal is like better than the Wii U one, but I don't know how good it is. 3D Sonic, Sonic Plus World, 3DS, Generations, that's mostly like 2D. Sonic Drift 2, Game Gear games, I didn't, I don't remember that on the 3DS, Sonic Labyrinth, Sonic 2 for Game Gear, Sonic Blast for Game Gear, Sonic Original for Game Gear, Sonic All and All Stars Racing Transformed, and Sonic Triple Trouble for Game Gear. Minecraft 3DS Edition, Mario Kart 7, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. In here, there is Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, as you would expect. New Super Mario Bros. 2, Kirby Battle Royale. Oh, and if you tap over here, it scrolls. What's in here? Kirby, oh, just Kirby Battle Royale, the demo, and the update. Huh. Interesting. Pokemon Crystal, why is there a banner thing? And we've got Pokemon Crystal, oh, English, French, and Spanish, three different versions. Mario Maker 3D. S, 3DS, Mario Party Top 100, Samus Returns, um, Metroid Samus Returns, 3DS Retail Slash Download, I remember, oh, and the announcement video, downloadable video, oh yeah, I, I already showed uh, the other downloadable videos, but you can actually download that one still. Um, I remember how you, um, I remember Nintendo did a DMCA takedown notice of another remake, a, 
AM2R or something like that. Another Metroid 2 remake. Fire Emblem Warriors. Why is there again? Is it like that? I assume it's, I assume it's a demo. I didn't even know there was a Fire Emblem Warriors on 3DS. Yeah. Oh, an update. Main game and then, then an update. Games for kids. And we're at the end of this list. And we've got, at the top, on the top screen it says family friendly fun for all ages. Mario Party Star Rush, Pokemon Sun, how many pages are there? I hope not too many. Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Planet Kirby Planet Robot, Mario Maker 3DS, Star Lego Star Wars Force Awakens. That reminds me of how I remember I really enjoyed playing Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2 on my computer. The original LEGO Star Wars 2, Animal Crossing, New Leaf Welcome Amiibo, Style Savvy Fashion Forward, Yokai Watch 2, Bony Spirits, and Fleshy Souls. I guess they kind of did like a Pokemon style thing there. Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, Smash 3DS, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, Free Theme with Purchase, Learn More. Now how is this? How did they do the theme with this? Get a download code for free. Okay, you'll find the download. Digital version. Now I wonder... Let's see, here's some screenshots. I wonder how you would get the do the download code because this that's very interesting actually because that could allow for using download codes Everyone, 91%. Casual play, 92%. I'm putting that... I'm putting that in my wish list to remind me. Because that's actually very interesting that it allows you to get a download code. We'll see. Mario Kart 7. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. Legend of Zelda Link, Link Between Worlds. Harvest Moon. Sky Tree Village, 3D Sonic 2, Mega Man Legacy Collection, Tomodachi Life, Yoshi's New Island, and Ocarina of Time 3. That's... That's basically all I kind of want to do in this video, or maybe, maybe I can do more. How many is there here? Oh, there's a lot. That's a lot. I can, I can hurry through this. Best sellers. We've got Did You Know? By touching the sort slash filter button, you can sort this list of titles by latest arrivals, popularity, or user reviews. You can also filter by genre or publisher. I showed that before, but basically. Oh, that's different, I think. So, tapping sort by, filter, filter by, sort by software, latest popularity, user rating. Or you can do that and that's, you know, I, sh I showed that before. Pokemon Bank, Sun Moon, Crystal. I'm just gonna kind of, save data transfer tool for 3DS. I remember this. Save data transfer tool. Nintendo 3DS download only. Release date, March, 20, March 26, 2013. The save data transfer tool allows Nintendo 3DS users to transfer save data from the packaged version of a game to the downloadable version. Players that originally purchased the physical version of a game will be able to pick right off where they left right where they left off with their save data if they decide to download it, the digital version of the same game. Save data that is transferred to a digital version cannot be moved back to the physical version. I didn't know what that's what that was. I thought it was moving the DSi to the 3DS. Nintendo Other, English, Spanish, Portuguese. 
I need additional space. What type of person is this suited for? 71% everyone. Casual play, 69%. What type of game is it? Related genres, other. Related keywords, tools, and Nintendo. I did not know that's what that was. Oh, yeah. Game. There's a game icon to SD card. Pokemon Yellow, Run the World. I'm just. Bad Arcade. I'm just gonna kinda go. through here. Swap Doodle. Um. Uh, DLC available. Um. Wait, what is this? Games to play on Halloween? What is this game? October 25th, 2018. Want to get a little spooked or really spooked? Take a look at these five 3DS games. They have spooky levels to play on Halloween night. Oh, it's a video. I was like, what is this? Everyone 68%. Uh, it's casual, play 70%. Video, Halloween, spooky, night, scary, boo. Okay, so Luigi's Mansion, Animal Crossing, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, I assume, Mario Kart 7, and a level 5 game. I don't know exactly which one that is. Enjoy's Mask 3D, Carforce Heroes, tr Pokemon Trading Card Game, Game Boy Color. Ocarina of Time 3D, Kirby's Adventure, 3D Classic, Swap Note, Monster Hunter Generation, Save Data Transfer App. Oh, I like these these tool games. Games that are actually tools. 3DS download only, release date August 23rd, 2018. Ready for everyone. This application allows you to transfer your save data from the Nintendo 3DS title. Monster Hunter Generations to the Nintendo Switch title Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Note, a copy of each of the aforementioned titles is required to perform safe data transfer. For details on what data is transferred, please visit the official website. Screenshots! Yay! So here's the thing, and it says send Monster Hunter Gen save data, and it says convert Monster Hunter Generation save data and send it to the server. So I guess you it needs a server for that. And confirm B for back. And that's the same thing on the second one. And that's the same thing on the third one. Huh. Publisher Capcom, players one player, genre other. English, Spanish, French. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate website. What type of person is it suited for? Everyone 60%. What type of game is it? 47%. Intense play. Relay genres other. Capcom. Company Limited. In Between Worlds. Liberation Maiden. By Level 5. Metroid Prime. Federation Force. To my actual life. I'm just gonna kinda go through here. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Data transfer program. Transfer it from the from the Wii U to the 3DS. Hmm. Interesting. So this is actually, I think, screenshots of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Four players. Sports online play uh, online play only. 3D visuals. So for everyone, 45%. Type of game is at 55%. Casual play, action RPG, multiplayer, 3D games, online play, cap. Pushmo. 
This is actually a lot more like the DSi shop. Or DSi page. DSi home screen. Oh yeah, Metopia, I remember that. Monster Energy Generation special demo. Kid Icarus Uprising. I've heard a lot of people say that's really good. It's, it's really hard to play with your... Because you gotta hold the 3DS and use the bottom screen, the touch screen, to move around and stuff. It's pretty... it can get pretty cramped. Oh, I remember Pocket Card Jockey being announced. I never want to s stop playing Pocket Card Jockey. Destructoid.com I'm gonna let this load. That was the last Box Boy game on the 3DS. I'm gonna let that load. There we go. Oh yeah, this is the Smash controller application for the Wii U. For Smash Wii U. But you had to pay a dollar for it. I thought that was free. The release date was June 14th, 2015. This application is a dollar, Nintendo 3DS download only. This application is intended for use by consumers who own the Super Smash Bros. for Wii U game and want to expand their controller options by using a Nintendo 3DS family system as a controller, even without owning the handheld version of the game. This application includes all the same compatibility that is included in the Smash 3DS uh, game. Simply purchase and download the Smash controller application from the eShop to your 3DS system and get ready for battle. Here's what it looks like. Super Smash Bros. Smash controller and then press any button on the title screen. Smash controller. This software allows you to use your Nintendo 3DS as a Wii U controller. Search for Wii U. Go to the Nintendo 3DS connection screen. Smash Wii U. And then found one Wii U console. And then you can push the Y button, search again, but bottom screen grant is available. Publisher Nintendo, genre miscellaneous, English, Spanish, French. I need to upgrade a SD card. Broadband internet access and Smash Wii U required. Smash Wii U is required to use it sold separately. It has the same thing as in Smash 3DS. 58% for everyone. 54% casual play, other Nintendo Smash Wii U, Wii U 3DS Fighter application. I need to let this load. Oh yeah, I remember people were um, joking about how this character for Shin Megami Tensei 4 and Noah from Xenoblade 3, it looks like Monolith Soft just took this character and combined with Faye, I think, from Xenogears and created Noah. I don't remember the other character that 
they took. I, I assume it was Fei from Fei Fong Wong from Zero Gears. Oh, this. The image, this image art style kind of reminds me of Xenoblade X, except for whatever that is. Which is funny because it's called Eternal Blade. Oh yeah, Photo Dojo. DSI wear. No, that, I already showed that, kind of. Donkey Kong Land. This is a Game Boy game and it apparently is like really hard to play because you can barely see any of the actual Here's a screenshot. You can barely see is a really good thing. Like you can barely see anything of what's going on there. Like there's just because it's black and white. The lack of detail. Oh, can't see that one very easily. Japanese Rail Sim 3D Journey to Journey to Kyoto Sonic Powered. When where the blue hedgehog is. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about I remember reading about Tales of Adventure for Game Gear. Mario Tennis Game of Color. Donkey Kong Land 2. I forgot that they had a second one. Oh yeah, 3D out Outrun. Donkey Kong Land 3. I didn't know they had a third one. The Queen TV game too. I didn't know that was a thing. I assume this is a TV game, Nintendo. Oh, that's where I am. Never mind. Oh yeah, this game, Soccer Shootout, 8 cents. I think a few days ago it was 6 cents. I don't know why this is only 8 cents. It's a simple soccer game where you do penalty shots against a goaltender and try to get as many goals as possible. It's an interesting art style though. I'll give it that. Voxels, kind of. Only on new Nintendo 3DS. Sports 3D visuals. Oh, when did this release? Oh, October 28th, 2021. Mostly 79% everyone, 86% casual play. No copyright information to display. Well, I'm glad that I showed that.
Oh yeah, this reminds me of the uh, Domino's Pizza ad. Domino's Pizza ad campaign. I didn't know there was a Goosebumps game. I just a few days ago I got an email from Humble Bundle about Goosebumps books bundle. A oh, nice winter weather advisors. Oh, I remember fluidity. Oh yeah, I, I talked about that in the We Shop channel series. Galaga. I really like Galaga. I hope I'm going through at a reasonable rate. See, sadly, the, the thing is we're repeating a few games. Oh, Japanese Rail Sim 3D Monorail Trip to... Okay, no, I just wanted to make sure that I was reading that correctly. Mega Man X Super NES. Oh, and there's another Japanese Rail Sim 3D game. Travel of Steam. Okay. I gotta load this. Yeah. Colors 3D. Oh, I remember. How on the DSi, I think the developer wanted to have it on the DSi, and like it was really says homebrew or something. Screenshot. There's a color thing on the bottom and different options that you can use. Menu. Painting with friends, I think. I don't know. We've got stuff here. Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Everyone 95%, casual play 89%, education, multiplayer, other, colors, painting, 3D games, local play, application, indie, copyright 2011. When was this published? April 5th, 2012. I see. 9 out of 10 stars IGN. <laughs> oh, not sticker star again. I thought, this, I, thought so, I thought that said Gremlin 3D. Oh, I am an air traffic control airport, Hero, Hawaii. Oh. Horseshoe Crab Rescue. I wonder what this is. Rescue horseshoe crabs? Oh, if they get flipped on their back on the beach, they uh, get stuck. And then you, you flip them back over. So, it's a game with light educational elements. You have to, you have to put them back on their front, back on their, flip them back over. This looks a lot like we um we sports resort. It's a happy horseshoe crab. It's happy. Publisher Kevin Foley. 
genre arcade. Displays 3D visuals and supports the Circle Pad Pro. Neat. Rating 7. What type of person is it suited for? Everyone 100%. What type of game is it? Casual play 86%. Arcade. Copyright 2021. Kevin Foley. When was it published? November 16th, 2021. Oh, Re Legend of the River King 2. I thought this said Legend of the Liver King 2. Animal Crossing Clock. That apparently has fewer options than Mario Clock. Fewer things that you can do with it. There we go. Legend of the King 1. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Oh, I remember that. When that launched. Or when there were ads for it. I remember, I, I didn't know what, it, how, where I knew the name from, but somehow Inazuma 11 got stuck in my head just a few weeks ago, and I was just thinking about it. I thought it was a show, it might be, but yeah, it just got stuck in my head for some reason after not even hearing about it for years. Crossing calculator. Oh, another Japanese rail sim three D. Journey in Suburbs number one. I'm surprised that there's actually suburbs with rail. It must be not US style. So I mean it's Japanese rail sim 3D, so I guess in that case they don't have US style ones where it's like just a disaster. It should not have ever happened. You know, how they have the the mazes and it goes like that and, and you have to drive around all like, a bunch it's, it's just very not good suburbs at least in the US which is different from just south town so to speak because it's like the design, the architectural road design and stuff, like with the really wide roads and stuff. Japanese Rail Sim 3D Journey in Suburbs number two. I am an air traffic controller, airport hero, Osaka kicks. That might not be how it's pronounced. I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, Japanese Rail Sim 3D Journey in Suburbs number one, volume two. Oh yeah, Silver Falls Gold Busters. Ninja Gaiden I've heard is pretty good, but seems a little too difficult for me from what I've heard. 
I need to really finish this up. Oh yeah, the electroplankton games. Games. More like music. Games. It is Overdrive. Oh, I, I really want Overdrive to return in uh, Zero games. I want an X port. Or X2. Either one of those. Some sort of X on Switch. I really want it. Please. X2 would be nice too. I just I just gotta know what's up with this planet. And Journey in Suburbs number one, volume three, and volume four. I just wanna know. And like Overdrive is just so good. You know what? Launch charge in the Xenoblade 3 um in the gauntlet arch stages gauntlet that with how it puts like the purple stuff around the edges of the screen like here like here and here and stuff like that Run running around when that's on the screen makes me feel like I'm uh, in overdrive and then on top of that, with the 500% damage bonus at 0% at 0 not watch when that's out. Um, there's that, like that gives you a lot more power, like max overdrive. Oh, here's the Nintendo 3DS Guide Louvre Museum. For $20, English version. December 2nd, 2013. Explore one of the greatest museums in the world without ever leaving your home. Uh, get up close and personal with each work of art through official photos, videos, and audio interviews with museum curators. Discover the Louvre's collection on a guided tour of specific masterpieces or customize your own virtual walking tour through the museum. In addition, certain masterpieces are viewable from different angles with special 3D photos and videos. Going to Paris, you enrich your visit to the Louvre Museum and carry your 3DS guide, Louvre, with you for official in-depth commentary as you walk each wing. With all this and more supplemented by updates through the Spot Pass feature, you'll always have an up-to-date audio and visual guide to the world's most legendary art collection. I doubt they're going to be updating this anytime soon. Or at some point I doubt that they're going to do it. Look at artworks and visit the Louvre. Listen to all slideshow information. Wrench. Oh, and there's. Uh, oh, and there's a map. You can actually. Ex there's actually a map on the bottom of the screen that you can go around and explore different paintings with, which is very cool. Oh, and then there's a discover the work and function thing for. Uh, I don't remember what those are called. But I do know that there's a Sphinx. There's, there's a Sphinx. Thing. Not not an actual Sphinx cat, live hairless cat, but like structure. Obviously. Sports and Nintendo Network ID displays 3D visuals and supports Spot Pass and Nintendo website. Everyone 99%, Casual Play 95%. Lifestyle Museum Paris, France. But yeah, like the bonuses and like the money bags thing, if you have a lot of the things, the money from the, from, oh yeah, I remember this one on the DSi shop. If you've got over a decently over 10,000, then you get bonuses on your attack. It increases the attack stat of each on each emblem um, by however much you have for money bags, and it just I just feel like like it's feels a lot like actually having overdrive, even though it's really not. But it's like, a, it's very similar, I feel like.
I'm an air traffic controller, airport hero, Narita, sonic powered, so I guess, like, probably the same company makes those? I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. Because they're both simulators. What game is that? Game Boy Color. No, it's a different game that I remember. Um, summer Games or something like that. We're on page 19 now. Almost done with this video. Did I show that? Yeah, I did. Oh, Mega Man 2 apparently has the weird Mega Man. Um design. Cursed box art Mega Man. Oh, Mega Man has proper sprites, so that's nice. Xenoblade 3D. A theme available. Oh, and here's a launch trailer. Um, I'm... I don't know. Might be spoilers. Um, launch trailer. What? Oh wait. Accolades trailer. Main theme. Dark plane. Engage the enemy. Mechanical rhythm. You'll know our names. I'm blocking out anything that could be considered a spoiler. Various trailers. Only for new 3DS. Take up arms against an invading army. In oh, this was released April 10th, 2015. Take up arms against an invading army in this remake of an acclaimed RPG. Only on, an, on the Ninten new Nintendo 3DS XL system. Explore landscapes and beat down foes in battles that blend real-time action with RPG strategy. Exclusive features make the Xenoblade 3D game the ultimate way to learn the truth behind the myth mythical sword, the Monado. Actually, no, not anymore. Definitive Edition is way fixes a lot of issues, but sadly, there's no 3D model viewer or track player, song player. Due to the processing power and additional buttons of the new 3DS XL, you can experience this epic RPG portably. Command your party or quickly jump between locations by pressing the new ZL and ZR buttons and look all around the game's beautiful environments using a C-Stick. These features perfectly round out an already outstanding adventure, comprised of intense combat and intriguing storyline storytelling. British voice actors and gorgeous art direction. It doesn't look on this one. It doesn't look as good as the DE. I think the art style is probably okay, but it's DE is in high, high definition, so lend the story an authentic fantasy feel. But it, lo it looks all right for the time, you know. Maybe, I don't know. Authentic, but on the 3DS it's kind of, yeah. While the customizable moves of your characters and changeable combos keep you on the edge of your seat. Also the story, after the thing happens and it starts really taking off. Check out the theme inspired by this game in the theme shop. Just tap the icon in the upper left corner of your Nintendo 3DS home menu to get started. Earn in-game tokens in Xenoblade 3D by tapping a Shulk Amiibo figure to the new 3DS XL. Tokens can be used to unlock music and animate 3D models of various characters. Interesting. So here's this. It shows on the top screen the game and then the bottom screen. Oh, I didn't know this is how they did it. They just moved the health bars to the bottom screen, the map, the health and the map to the bottom screen. And then this is the, uh, oh, the collection mode. I see. The options are Model Viewer, Jukebox, Model Raffle, Music Raffle, Earn Tokens, and Manage Street Pass. I didn't know there's Street Pass on this. I assume that Street Pass worked by, like, to give you, like, songs and stuff like that. And models. Baby models. Oh, and this is, there's a battle here going on. I don't remember when this, I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember when this happened. Yeah, that happens at a... Not very fun. In a not very fun area, let's just say that. 
publisher Nintendo, players one player, RPG, languages English, Spanish, French, the size of the game, you know, Amiibo, Amiibos, displays three visuals, supports Street Pass and Nintendo website, Amiibo compatibility chart. That's interesting. I'll look at that later. Teen. What type of game, what type of person is it suited for? Gamers, 83%. Intense play, 85%. Action RPG, Nintendo 3DS game, Street Pass, Battle, Amiibo. Well, Soft, copyright 2010 through 2015. We're almost done with this and I'm gonna put the rest in the next one. Oh, a bit of a weird-ish looking Mega Man. Not as awkward as the other one. That's cursed Mega Man, but still a little weird. Last page. Oh, I didn't know that there was Blaster Master Zero on 3DS. We're almost done, I think. Picross E4, Picross E3. Nintendo Countdown Calendar, what was this? Nintendo DSi Wear. Oh! Oh, um, it's a calendar. And September 20th, 2010. I don't, I don't like thinking about the months surrounding that. It was stressful. Um, with Nintendo Countdown Calendar, you can track, add and track all of your important events in a fun and exciting countdown format. Simply set up your personal profile and then start entering events. Adding events is easy. Choose a date for the event. Decide whether it will be for be an open event, which you can which you name yourself for a set event, chosen from the school, work, or general events categories, and select an icon from the wide variety of available options. If needed, set the recurrence of the event, or even move the event to the hidden events list. From there, the calendar does the rest, and you just watch today's cut countdown. On subsequent event visits to the application, you might see special gradings or suggested seasonal events you can choose to add to your cal calendar countdowns. All events added to the calendar are displayed chronologically, so you can quickly view all of your upcoming events in one place. Oh, and there's schedules for setting clocks back, anniversary. Oh, and I guess on the ones that you can set yourself open events, you just write in on the bottom screen. Otherwise, it just has full-size text and the calendar is at the top. Stuff like that. Wait, this is the same? Oh, payday. Add event. Oh, it shows the add event thing, and then you scribble your what it is. An icon, event, type and date, cancel and save, event, publisher Nintendo, one player, calendar, language is English, okay, um, what type of person is it suited for, everyone 95%, what type of game is it, 93%, uh, casual play, other, calendar, Nintendo application, other, related keywords and then related genres and related keywords. It's almost done, and then I'll put the rest in the next one. Alleyway. Oh yeah, for Game Boy, that's like the... Brick Breaker. Across E6. I actually have... I actually have that on my, um, Obama phone. I played that sometimes, and it was pretty fun, but... I'm, was, I was very happy to get a Lumia 822. It was... It was way better to text with. Because it wasn't all... Procrasty. Okay, we're done now. It wasn't all, like... Creaky, and... It, it, it was nice being able to have a full... You know, a full keyboard. Actually... This isn't my Lumia 822, but I have my Lumia 830 right here. 
on the desk. It was very nice having an actual keyboard instead of the small T9 texting keyboard. That was not fun. Anyway, next time we're going to be moving on. I'm just I'm the chair. We're going to be moving on going to games on sale. Goodbye for now.